Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Matlock, the entrepreneur. Welcome to Fantastic Fridays, the only show, as far as a Google search is concerned, that reviews bizarre and unheard of holidays. Today is May 29th and Honestly, I have no idea what to say about this holiday. Today is put a pillow on your fridge day. Put a pillow on top of your fridge. That's what you do today. I just, what, why? I don't understand why you would do such a thing. I just, just so, I just, I can't even. Did somebody say can't even? Someone has can't even. That means that Tumblr will now come on the scene and comment about the current topic because reasons. How can you celebrate put a pillow on your fridge day? Some people don't even have refrigerators, you insensitive Well, that happened. Anyway, pillow on top of a refrigerator day. Why? I can do this. I can do this. The story behind this holiday is that long ago, before the invention of refrigerators, people kept their food in what was called a larder. Basically a cabinet for food. And there was some bizarre superstition that if you put cloth into your larder once a year, then it would bring you good luck. Strangely enough, it's also a superstition that on New Year's Day, you're supposed to fill your larder completely. This was apparently guaranteed prosperity. Maybe putting cloth into the larder tricks the superstition overlords into thinking that your larder is more full, therefore you should be more prosperous? But the thing is that nobody has a larder anymore. We call them pantries. But apparently the superstition has gone on. We've decided to make it a holiday and it's just transferred over to freezers and so now the cloth is a pillow for some reason. And this isn't just a holiday that everyone has forgotten about and they're just like, what in the world? People actually do it. Check out Twitter. There are people who are like, look guys, I put a pillow on my- <laughs> Look guys, I put a pillow on my refrigerator for good luck. Aren't I smart? Hashtag doing stuff. Hashtag putting stuff on refrigerators. Hashtag gullible. People are so dumb. People will actually believe that for no specific reason, because they do something, somehow the world will suddenly change around them and they'll have good luck because they did a certain thing at a certain time that actually has no bearing on the rest of your life. Oh, oh, and right, and then they turned it into a holiday. Or at least I assume that's how the holiday originated. I could be completely wrong. The thing is, there's often very little info on where these holidays actually came from. So what I like to do in these situations is what I like to call making up how the holiday came to be. All right, everyone, first off, I'd like to just say hello and welcome to meeting 687 of Holiday Makers Incorporated. Now, we're here to discuss the next holiday that we're gonna make up. It's gonna be for May 29th. Uh, what has everyone got? Oh, sir, sir, I have an idea. Ooh, me, me. Oh, yes, you, Reginald. Okay, okay, what if we celebrated all the people who didn't participate in the Ice Bucket Challenge? Uh, well, like, I love your idea. I really do, but I'd really like to hear what everyone else thinks. Uh, what about you? Do you have any ideas? How about we have a day devoted to not making making Frozen references. Hank, I love your enthusiasm, but I really think that we should focus on the, what's important in life, like things that actually matter. So uh, let's give the new guy a chance. Uh, what do you think? Oh goodness, I forgot to actually think of a holiday. Um, uh, what do I think? Uh, just think about stuff at home. Yeah, yeah, dirty laundry. No, no, that's dumb. Uh, I, I, let's see. Oh, well, you gotta take care of your pillow. You left it on the refrigerator again after getting snacks. Uh, Oh, oh, uh, put a pillow on your fr- yeah. Uh, yes sir, I have an idea. Um, put a pillow on your refrigerator day? Tommy? I love it. Let's do it. But yeah, in the end, I really don't have much more to say about this holiday. It's just so bizarre, I- I- I literally can't even right now. And it's based off a superstition which pretty much discounts it in my book. But here's a way to redeem it. Rather than putting a pillow on your refrigerator and making it overheat and destroy all your food, put a pillow in your refrigerator. Because then, on a hot summer night when you're trying to get to sleep, you'll remember, wait a minute, I've got a nice cool pillow in my refrigerator. You'll take it out, you'll put your pretty face down on top of it, and you'll realize this is better than putting on pants that are straight out of the dryer. So it is right now that I officially, unofficially proclaim that today is put a pillow in your refrigerator day. Stay classy and put a pillow in your refrigerator so that you can sleep well tonight. Ryan out.